All right, we've got Mike Peterson here. Do you have a question for him? Raise your hand, I'll call on you. Spencer Nelson, go ahead. Hey coach, how are you doing today? Good, Spencer. Hope you're doing good. I am as well. Excellent. I, I just wanted to ask uh, first and foremost about defense. What is a successful defensive night going to look like against the Storm? Well, you got to control Stewie. I, I mean, everything runs through Stewie and Bird and Lloyd, right? So you've got to find a way to control those three, and it's not easy to do because almost no one ever does it. So, you know, you know, for us, it's about dictating shots, and when we can dictate the shots that other teams take. Uh, then we're in pretty good shape. I thought we did a very good job of that in the last game against New York. I thought we did a good job of dictating the shots they took for the most part. Lost Whitcomb a couple times, but other than that, we did a pretty good job of dictating shots. Uh, you've also talked about the importance of having your team come out with a lot of energy. As a coach, what do you do to kind of ignite that focus and energy since I know that's not really an X and, X's and O's kind of thing? Yeah, it, it's not, but, and it's also a thing that, that is mostly player driven. I mean, I'm not going to get in there and give a rah-rah speech. Uh, that's not how this works, right? My job is to point it out. It's always something we go over before the game. It's always something we talk about. And, and then that's a, that's a player leadership thing, right? Good teams are player led in that area in, in their, uh, encouraging one another, getting on one another, whatever it takes to make sure that they have the right energy. And, and I thought we did uh, uh, in our last game with New York. I, I thought it was good right from the start. Great. Um, I also want to ask about uh, Kennedy and Ari. With them obviously being two young and talented players in this league, uh, how much of a balance is it between having them kind of step outside their comfort zone and, and grow as players versus doing things that, you know, immediately impact winning on your team. Yeah, that's always the, that's always the, that's the balancing act with every player. You, you know what I mean? And, and again, uh, I'm a big believer in letting players make plays. Okay. Um, I, I'm not standing on the sidelines, trying to coach the team with a joystick in a video game, trying to control every movement because in our sport you just can't especially as fast as we're trying to play so both of them are going to make a ton of plays that help us and at the pace we're playing and at the aggressiveness level that we're asking our guards to play with mistakes are going to get made uh and, and for me as long as we're making mistakes full speed and we're making mistakes that are aggressive and attacking then we'll live with them you know and this has been a team with just a couple of exceptions the two minnesota games uh, at Minnesota. This has been a team that's done a good job of taking care of the ball and has won the points off turnovers battle almost every night. So uh, I think all of our players have done a nice job of being aggressive and still valuing the ball. Uh, two more questions for me. First, what is a successful offensive night going to look like against the Storm? Yeah, they're very good on the first side. So you've got to change sides of the floor, right? So they're hard, unless you're in transition, they're very hard to score against on the first side. They really load up and they ice ball screens and they do all manner of stuff to really defend the first side. So you better get to the second side a lot. And then for us, we've got to be in transition. I mean, this is the number one, number two teams in our, in our league in transition efficiency, Seattle and us. And so for us to be good on offense, we've got to be in transition. We've got to be playing in a broken court. We've got to be playing in an open court uh, so that, that we can create space to play in. Right, and then just last one for me. Oh, no, no, go ahead if you had something. Well, I was gonna say that, that a good offensive team and a good offensive game and a good defensive game both look the same. They both involve us having more points than our opposition. How's that? That's a great quote. I'm happy I didn't interrupt you there. Um, this last one from me. Strick earlier today said she's feeling better than she was earlier in the season. Cheyenne obviously seems to be doing better. Um, outside of Tiffany Hayes, are your players essentially close to 100%? I think so. And I, I'm sorry for leaning in there. There's a lot of background noise. Yeah, I think so. I think as much as you can be 100% in this league, they play so many games so quickly. You're, you're always a little dinged up. But, yeah, I think Strick is feeling better, and, and that's why she's playing more. Uh, 
uh, and, and she'll play more tonight, right? Um, I, I think Cheyenne's starting to play her way into shape. And again, you know, the players that have come out of COVID protocol, very few of them just hit the ground running. You think back to last year, Courtney, Lori, Kalani, the three players we had in COVID protocol, it took them a long time to get going. Uh, Courtney will tell you that. And so we're going to keep investing in that in, with, with uh, Cheyenne particularly. And, and we know that she'll make strides and, and it just won't happen overnight, but we're close. As close as any team is. Nobody's 100% in this league, but we're close. Last thing, can you give us some keys to beating Seattle tonight? Yeah, absolutely. First thing is you've got to locate them in transition because they're so good in transition. You've got to, you've got to protect the rim and find shooters because they're so good in transition. Uh, second thing is you've got to value the ball because like us, they get a lot of their transition off of turnovers. So you've got to keep your turnovers down. And then the third thing is we've got to execute on offense. We've got to get to the second side. We've got to make sure that our, our possessions that aren't in transition have real continuity to them so that we can attack their weaknesses and not always be trying to attack their strengths on defense. All right. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, everybody.